Sometimes an installation is going amazing and you're flying through all the phases. The flange looks good, the new gasket goes down, you put the bowl on top of it and then comes the tank. Right after that you do the seat and you feel like you are in the zone and you're ready to head to the next job site. All right, so um, we ran into an issue. Come take a look. All right, this right here is a fracture on the very final piece that I installed on this toilet. Good morning, peeps. Welcome to another vlog. I want to show you what we're tackling today. Got ourselves an old toilet right over there. It's a little bit on the ancient side, and uh, I ended up going out and getting it. one of my favorites, a Cadet Pro. So as of right now, what I'm going to do, vacuum it out, take it off, see what the flange looks like, make sure that we don't have any sort of issues with the flange itself, because sometimes you find a broken flange underneath there, and then continue on and go forward with that. Do me a favor, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you know exactly when we're getting videos smash that thumbs up share it friends and let's go do some delicious plumbing so peeps as you're going to see there are some telltale signs that this toilet was leaking from underneath for a while the moment I saw the old gasket it was obvious that it had deteriorated many many moons ago because the floor was looking gnarly and it had risen a bit from water damage so it was a great thing that a new gasket and new toilet were coming to take its place I had a little difficulty choosing the right size gasket for this installation though because when I threw the three quarter inch gasket it down I only felt a little bit of compression by the bowl the moment I swapped to the one inch gasket it was way too high for the toilet and would need too much compression to get the toilet to sit flush to the ground so that's one thing that you need to keep in mind as plumbers we are always worried about over tightening the toilet bolts because you can either crack the porcelain or even break the flange so it was the three quarter inch gasket for the wind throw a bead of silicone down on it and let's get crack a lacking One other thing you're going to see me do is install an open front toilet seat with no cover. Now a lot of the other vlogs you've seen me install toilets at have been residential applications. So the homeowner decides on the toilet seat that they want. It can have a cover, it could close slowly, whatever their heart desires. But as a colleague of mine pointed out to me, when you're doing a toilet for a commercial application, you're supposed to install an open front toilet seat for sanitary purposes. They are easier to maintain and clean and they leave less hiding places for bacteria to grow. All right, so um, we ran into an issue. Come take a look. All right, this right here is a fracture on the very final piece that I installed on this toilet. And the thing about this toilet is, is I bought this last night at Desco. Desco is one of the suppliers I go to. Shout out to Lisa, Dan, and Greg. They treat me really well down there. And when I took it outside, I actually opened up all the boxes and looked through them to make sure all the porcelain was okay. Except I didn't look at the lid because I was like, the lid is boxed in its own separate casing. It's going to be just fine. Lo and behold, the plumbing gods had a lesson to teach me today, which is you got to check all the porcelain, including the lid. And that's why we have to run out to Desco. So I ended up calling up Lisa. Lisa was good to me. She said, listen, if you take the receipt and you go to another Desco, they should be able to swap out the tank for you. And that's what we did. We took out the tank. It's in the back of the truck right here, right now. Fingers crossed. We don't run into any issues. Shoes. We're going to go there, get this done, and now we know for the future, fam. Now we know. So now here's the moral dilemma. Who pays for this mistake? 
I lost approximately an hour and a half to go get this tank and replace it. That's added gas and added time. Would you charge the customer an additional hour and a half of time to get the new tank even though it wasn't the customer's fault? Or do you swallow the cost and consider it your own blender? Let me know down in the comments below how you'd handle it. Personally, I ended up swallowing the extra cost because I should have also checked the lid when I purchased it. If the toilet flange was broken and needed a repair kit or if it was an installation issue that was uncovered on the job site, I would have no problem charging extra time. But because I was in control of driving the broken lid to the job site, I ate the cost and I learned a valuable lesson. So lesson learned, let's all sacrifice a plunger tonight to the plumbing gods and hope that we remain in their good books going forward. And just like that, we are done a whole day of plumbing. So getting to the supplier wasn't a bad thing. When I got inside there, it was pretty straightforward. They saw the tank, they saw the lid. They just swapped it out for me really easily, just like that. Thankfully with the receipt, it was not a big issue at all. Came back inside there, threw it on, did a little bit of testing, silicone the base as you saw, which is something I typically do. And that's basically it. So peeps, thanks for watching. Do me a favor if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you know exactly when you're getting videos. Smash that thumbs up share with friends kenny molotov guys peace baby